I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. I'm down at this waistline, right below your waistline. Want you by my head. Boys and girls, welcome to the. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the long awaited It's Jerry 2020 PC build. Look at this! So, as you guys know, I'm not a PC expert. I know a decent amount about the parts, but it's mainly my brother who's gonna do the building. He's behind the camera right now if he wants to say hi. Yo. <laughs> Basically, we're gonna build it, put it together, test it out in Fortnite. Hopefully, I get 500 FPS and I can actually not get input delay as I play and record because that is really annoying. And lastly, before you ask, no, I am not giving away my PC. I'm giving away a new one. All right, now I'm back behind the camera. I'm trying to center myself. I don't know why it's so hard, but I think this is a little more of a flattering angle. Over here we have the S-Bomb in his nice pink shirt. I guess we'll start with the motherboard. Z490E from Asus. Motherboards really aren't that interesting. If any PC nerds want to roast me because I picked out bad parts, blame the S-Bomb. Don't blame me. What you got in your hands? The CPU. What did I buy? Uh, i9 10900K. Are all the A&B kids gonna roast me? Yeah, probably. <laughs> The main reason I chose Intel over AMD is because I game a lot. I know I probably should have waited for the AMD event. I think that was last week, but I waited so long to get the 3090. I waited way too long for all of these parts. I could not wait any longer. Also, I've been using an i7-8700 and it served me really well. I don't know how I got so many frames on such a non-top tier PC, but I do not mind Intel. I will admit AMD is better though. Now the AMD kids can't roast me. Oh, don't drop it. Don't break it. Locked and loaded, boys. The i9-10900K. For the RAM, I went with 64 gigabytes of Trident Z RGB G-Skill. DDR4, I believe it's 3600 megahertz. You know your boy had to ball out on the RAM. Gotta get the fastest. The best for Fortnite. I'm a Fortnite gamer. There's the second one. You think I can put one in? You want to? Yeah, I'll put the last one. By the way, if this video does not hit 50,000 likes, I'm not gonna pay the S-bomb. Make sure to like the video or the S-bomb does not get paid. What the hell? <laughs> this is thicker than my other RAM. Like this? Hey! I just built my own PC! I've been given the honor of holding the SSD. I'm also upgrading from one terabyte to two terabytes of storage. Now I can download other games and not be a weird Fortnite player who only plays Fortnite. You're still only gonna play Fortnite. Shut the hell up. <sighs> now, the case. I went with the H510 Elite. I know it does not have the greatest airflow. I watch TikToks about PCs. I know a little bit about it. Trust me, at the end, you're gonna be blown away because it looks so, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. You're telling me right now this is not the sickest case you've seen, even without any parts in it. I could have gone with white, but I have black drawers, so I think. <laughs> what the? F I think it matches better. <laughs> So many comments on the video that I made with the S-Bomb on my other channel, AdmorJarian, were asking how he's my younger brother. He is four years younger than me. I know he looks and sounds older. Do not get it twisted. So I believe this comes with a pre-installed RGB controller. That's what this thing is. It's kind of cool that they put all of this together already. None of this is sponsored, by the way. I'm not cool enough to get free stuff. Man. We are chilling, boys. Right now, I'm retrieving the AIO liquid cooler. I'm not strong enough to hold up both of these. This thing is also from NZXT. It costs way too much money because I bought the one with a screen. You could just get a normal cheap one. Well, not cheap, but affordable. However, I'm very bougie. I had to ball out, so I got one with an LCD screen that I could put GIFs and random stuff up on. You'll see later.
Here is the AIO in all its glory. That is the front panel of it. I believe it's called the radiator. And then there's the LCD screen. The front radiator has been mounted. I'm not gonna lie, I watched a lot of PC building videos before making this, and I thought building a PC was way easier. It is a lot harder, a lot longer than they make it look. What are your thoughts, S-Mom? Um, I think that you owe me money for this. 50,000 likes or he does not get paid. He gets locked in the basement. What? Next on the list, the fans. So I bought two different fans. They're both from NZXT, they're just different sizes, and they're both RGB. They're gonna go on the top and the back of the case. On the other side. Oh, sorry. Look guys, I'm helping out. Oh. <laughs> Wait, this? Yeah. Oh, sorry. S-bomb. What is this? No, it's AMD bracket. Oh yeah, I was testing you, I was testing you. We got the fans in. I actually helped, come on. You guys saw it. All we have left is the power supply, of course, the GPU, the big bad boy, and then some random RGB stuff. We're almost there. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> the RTX 3090. This thing costs more than my last PC. And the S-Bomb's current PC. What the? <laughs> There it is. This thing is massive. Oh my gosh. The fate of my PC is in my hands. It's actually bigger than my head. <laughs> oh my gosh. We did it. It fits. <laughs> How much clearance would you say that is? An inch. <laughs> We are really pushing the boundaries with this PC in this case, but it's gonna look so insane. I'm telling you, it's worth it. Look at this right now. Oh my gosh. All we need is the power supply. 850 watt from Corsair, RM850X. Once this thing is in, boys, we are good to go. And it'll turn on. Yay! This thing looks pretty beefy. PSU has been placed in. So close to being done. The whole back panel is complete. And the front. I can't wait to turn it on. The walk of shame. Please boot up. Now! <laughs> wow. Plugging it in, and it is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. s -bomb, you did a magnificent job. Holy. That looks so sick. Oh my gosh. Right now, the S-Bomb is just getting the PC set up. We're installing windows, the whole nine yards. It's pretty boring. Luckily, the baby has joined us. We started this at 3 p.m. It is currently almost midnight. Hopefully, the next time I see you is in-game in Fortnite. I'll probably just put a quick little B-roll montage of the PC in between that time and now. See you then. I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed I'm down at this waistline, right below your waistline, want you by my head I'm doing all this FaceTime, need some alone time, baby You're always running in my mind I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed All right, about three hours have passed since I last checked in. I basically just installed Windows, updated all my drivers. I had to download Fortnite, which cause I have bad internet takes forever. But now I am finally in the game and I wanna see how much FPS I can get. Let's boot up a normal creative. Remember boys, it is an i9 10900K, an RTX 3090, 64 gigabytes of RAM, and basically every other insane spec you can think of. Already around 350 or so. Not bad for this little lot. Hobby. I also forgot that I'm recording. Usually I have so much input delay and it feels so weird, but I can already tell this feels amazing. Oh my. I still have to optimize this PC. I still have to figure out all the settings. I have a lot to do, but it is really good so far. Looking straight into the sky, I get almost 700 FPS. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Before I would get like 300, 400, which was insane, but 700. I haven't even optimized it yet. Wait a minute. I can just go down here. Latency markers on. Latency debug stats. Oh my gosh! Literally three milliseconds of delay as I'm recording. That is ridiculous. Usually I would get something like 10 or 11, which is obviously really low, but holy. Before I end it though, I think I should go into a real game. That way we could see in a real match how much FPS I get. I'm just gonna do a normal solo. I really have to go to sleep. Oh my gosh. This game is so poorly optimized. I get 100 FPS with a four to 5,000 dollar PC in the pregame lobby. Oh my. Real game though. Getting about 300 FPS. Okay, okay, not too bad. That makes up for the pregame lobby. Fortnite is at its lowest point in terms of optimization. It is really, really bad. I'm just gonna YOLO Stark. Barely getting 200 FPS. Oh no. Oh no. I cannot be killed with a 3090. Once I optimize this PC, it's over for everyone. I'm winning every tournament. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure what his plan was, but it did not work out. No way do I win my first game on a 3090. I'm getting a solid 300 FPS. 30 people left alive at Stark, that's pretty good. Where is everyone at though? It's 4 a.m. in the morning, come and fight me. Oh my gosh, the peace control. I am too good with this PC. Alrighty then. I forgot all about the Wolverine claws. I haven't even used these yet. Well, that's kind of sick. I was kind of hoping I would just die off spawn. That way I could go to sleep. Apparently, I'm supposed to win this game. These guys are not the greatest players in the world. They all want a bloom battle for some reason. Alright, where was the guy shooting at me? No, wait! Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna die. Hey. <laughs> Two guys left. One of them is in a helicopter. I should probably go shoot that helicopter before he gets down, but I want to heal up first. <laughs> oh my gosh, I really won that. My first game on the new PC. Let's go! Overall, guys, that is my new PC. I don't think I'm gonna do a full outro because I'm really, really tired. So please, just like the video. I love you all. Shout out to everyone who uses my code. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later!